Yeah, nice church. Nice houses here. Colourful. Burn them on the sea. Morning guys. This is where we stayed last night, uh, another free park up that we uh, came to last night. Really quiet night sleep and we we're at Burnham on Sea. And you can park here overnight uh, and I'll just show you where we are. Look at that, right at the side of the sea. I'll just show you, this is where we stayed last night. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? Beaches here, dogs are on beach already. Look, they really love it here. I'll just scan around. I was just gonna go for a walk, loads of dogs on here. We're gonna have a walk into town and uh, see if we can find and get a cup of coffee. But yeah, this is uh, where we stayed last night, Dead End Road. And there we are, there's Bertie. There's a lighthouse down there, Burnham on Sea. Low lighthouse to call this. It's on park for night. The only thing I would say about it is a little bit exposed. It's yeah, not exactly yeah, stealth this one, is it, love? No. You know what I mean? No, you, you know what I mean, guys? Us. We're not exactly stealthy here, are we? Mm. But uh, nobody bothered us and it is quiet. There's lots of dog walkers in the morning obviously and don't mind that at all. Bloody cold this morning. Cold this morning, yeah. This is Burnham on Sea. You like it, Zoe? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's really friendly and dog friendly. But, but we haven't got no proper sea, have we? No. Uh, the proper beach sea. Is okay. no. Just been for a coffee yeah. down there. It's alright to stay busy for one night. Yeah. It's really nice. It's got BM. Mm. And we've got free parking, love. No, we have. And then we've got beach. It's come in quite a bit low. Oh. Yeah, it smells good. Get ready. Get ready. Oh, the dogs are driving us mad. Off you go. Want to let her off, love. Come on, you. Come on, honey. It's like they're going down the runway. <laughs> Come on, talk, John. Well, it makes a change from you not talking. <laughs> I'm quiet, me. You do all bloody talking. Good evening. Evening. How are you? I hope you enjoyed this vlog uh, on that park up where we were last night. Uh, it was really nice where we were, weren't it? Yeah. A little bit stuck out, as you've seen, but um, it was... PG, Zoe, PG. <laughs> PG. <laughs> PG, <laughs> Zoe. Family channel. <laughs> After dark and all that. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, change of events. We are now in Gosport near Plymouth. I've driven over three hours, three and a half hours. Yeah, what? Yeah. This started last night. 100 miles. <laughs> 100 miles I've done to get mm. down here. Yeah. We are, we were planning on going to Bournemouth anyway, so, but I weren't planning on coming so soon. There is a reason why we've come down here, and the reason is. When we looked at the RS Motorhome, um, as you've guys seen in the, the previous vlogs, if you've not seen that vlog, then please go back and watch it and you know what we're talking about. Um, there was always two motorhomes that we were interested in. And we went to look at the RS, which was Doncaster, and then I looked at where the other motorhome was, and it was Gosport, near Plymouth, and I said, I'm not driving all the way down from Doncaster, right way down to Plymouth. So we didn't think anything of it. Since then, we set off and we've been to a rally, a What's Occurring meetup, uh, bottom of Wales card, if aren't we? Yeah. From there, we plan on going down to Devon anyway. Mm. And it crossed my mind, I wonder if that motor is still for sale. So anyway, I went online, fatal, still up for sale. So I said to you, do you want to go and have a look at it? And we were like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And I says, well. We made if, some inquiries, didn't we? If anything, so, it's going to be a good vlog. Yeah. It. It's going to be a good vlog showing yeah. you guys this other motor home that we've seen. This other motor home is a Concorde, it's not an RS, but the quality build is very, very similar. It's like a luxury liner type build, it's second hand, obviously. Yeah. Uh, it's quite old ish. Mm, it hasn't got pull outsides, has it? It like hasn't got the pull outside, no. 
but that could be just a gimmick I don't really know but what's attracted me to it it's only got 11,900 miles on clock which is actually less than what we've got on this one mm. so one owner from new blah 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 and I think well this is a this is going to be a good one this now let's just hope the advert that we've seen is the same motor home in the showroom because you know trouble we had last time but it does look mint condition it does yeah and so, I love the layout the layout what is exactly what we want so we've got the opportunity to get this motor home and it's a it looks a really good motor home it's a fraction yeah. of the price of what they are brand new and when we're talking brand new they are from 300 and what 350 euros the same model yeah. 351 euros 351,000 euros i'm talking yeah. about brand new this model that we're going to look at not the one obviously we're getting or you know the one we're getting is older but it's got such low mileage, so I can't not go and have a look at it. We really liked it. Like the uh, spec on it, and it's got all the whistles and bells on it, which we've been looking at, aren't we? So we talked about it. So we were going to come down, and I says, well, there's no point in coming all the way down here to look at it if they're not going to offer us what we wanted for this van, which is basically what we paid for it, which is what RS offered us. So we rung the, the sales guy up, gave him all the details of the van he come back to us and offered us ten thousand pound less than we wanted no, so we went so we no forget it we're not doing that mm. not coming down here for that then he come back and said we'll give you five thousand pound more and i went no we're still five thousand pounds short i should have said zoe haggle haggling weren't you love she was haggling with him yeah. and you said yeah they're giving us what we wanted want for it what we originally paid for it or when there's no place coming down to look at it I got a figure in my head and I, I, I adamant that we, we needed that figure. You needed a white stripe. That's adamant, isn't it? Remember adamant? Adamant, she's adamant. Sure. Did you get that, Zoe? Did you God. get that? So in some ways, I wish they'd have said, no, we can't offer you that, because then it would have saved us three and a half hour journey. But no, we didn't, did he? He come back and he says, at a push, we will give you X amount of money what we paid for this, which is what RS offered us. So I thought, so I thought, well, we're going to have to come down and look at it now. Mm. So we've driven all the way down here and we are in Gosport now. And and it seems a really genuine garage up to now. They rung us up tonight, didn't they? Yeah. And asked us, did they want us to, for them to stay yeah, open okay. late? Yeah. Because they knew we were coming down uh, for us to look at the motor home. And I went, no, no. no it, we don't want to be rushed, do we? No, we'll, we'll look at it in the morning. Just right. woken up in Gosport. Quiet night though, weren't it? It was, yeah. N another free night and off grid. I right, enjoyed my run this morning. There's all warships down here, isn't there, you've said? Yeah, well, there is down there, yeah, and I run other way. Uh, it's like a a school, a defence training school, what I ran past. Down here? Yeah. We're going to have a look. And there were all, lots of sailors, there were hundreds of them. Yeah. They were like marching. Marching about? Yeah, they were, you know, they were all right, walking nicely. They were, <laughs> they were great to watch. Walking nicely? Yeah. <laughs> walking nicely? Yeah. <laughs> there you had it, guys. The sailors are walking nicely <laughs> down at the military school down here. <laughs> this is where we stayed last night in Gosport. Little lay by here. We're a quiet night, I've got to say. Bit noisy this morning because there's a school here, so you get a lot of school traffic. Um, and then that's the sign 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, two hours, no return within two hours, but it means you can park overnight as long as you bugger off during the day, I guess. Just coming into PMP campers now. And there it is, right at the corner, just like it's photographed. Wow. Okay, so this is it. Look at the size of this. Satellite dish on top. Concord Carver. I'll just take you around back first. Let's shut this door. I'll show you it, it is keep at entry again. Just have a down here and I'll just show you it back that's the back of it, it's got a tow bar on it you're reversing cameras up there this is the size of the bloody garage, look at this, it's huge 
My God, it's all electrics here. It's coming around. Wow. Looks like it's heated. Huge garage. Wow. All right, you ready for this? I'm going to go inside and show you. And we're coming in, we've got uh, three steps in. We're coming in. Oh, where to start with this? Right, cabinets all the way around, look. No drop down bed at the front. It is a four berth. Because these uh, beds convert, so this table must come out. And let's go to the front first. Got your legs, darling. This is the front. I'll just sit here. Oh. I'm presuming that's reversing camera. So I'm guessing I'd have a sat nav. Sat nav there. And I'll just show you this, it's electric bind that comes down at the front. If we've got that many buttons on this, the electric bind at front up that comes down, back up. It's automatic. It's got self-leveling air suspension. Which I'm presuming that's it. Who knows? I don't know. But look at the floor area lots of floor area here it's in really really good condition this the blinds pull down at the sides here they pull down that way look I'm just coming round cream leather it's fine as well but look at this Wow, we've even got glasses, haven't we? Yeah. Cabinets, there's a little latch underneath to open. Really good, solid cabinets. Lots of light places you can put plants and stuff. And just coming through. We've got a fridge freezer, oven above. And then, I don't want to keep moving the camera around too much for you guys, you'll feel seasick. Uh, gas hob, sink, ceramic, there. Got a microwave above. And then, coming through into the back, same bed layout. But look at the floor area, this is what I like about this. And then we've got more cabinets all the way around, like a display cabinet. Oh, you're putting that, I'm sure. And then we have got full size wardrobe. And then just coming around. Another full size wardrobe on that side. We've got a door that slides across here. I'll just come back and get on bed. Oh, look at this. We're just on a completely different level here. This is just stunning. I'll just come through into the bathroom now, so keep it like that. Slide that across. Shut that door there. Oh, who's that? It's me, mirror, and then we've got really big shower. The size of this shower, really big shower here. And then coming round, I'm going to show you the bathroom slowly, do it so you don't feel sick. Come round, oh, cut ups. Oh, here I am again. Look at this bathroom, mirrors. We've got towel radiator sink macerating toilet again so there's no toilet cassette it's a porcelain toilet uh under some tank uh loads of storage here scare me off if i come into this bathroom there's mirrors all over beautiful 
The uh, roof's like a, a velvet, isn't it? It's got all the lights out top. Are we flashing? I think we're flashing. We're strobing a bit. Sorry about that, guys. Can't be out. Yeah, love the cream leather. Kitchen. Drawers, soft clothes. Loads of worktop space, though, eh? There is, isn't there? Even stuff like this, do you know what I mean? It's just everything yeah. about it's it's solid. Window, yeah. yeah, everything about it's just built quality, isn't it? Yeah. Just looking at this, everything. This guy that's had it before is documented. Everything. It's Gas. Air yeah, suspension itself, lovely air suspension. He's got an inverter. He's got in here service record. In here, he's got every single service it's had. How much is spent? He's had brand new tyres just put on. It's endless, it's just, everything's documented, so everything. Plug, the whole history of it. It's all these sockets here, you can just plug stuff in on it. Yeah, it's got an inverter on it. So you can just use the three pin sockets. They're putting three brand new gel batteries on it, which is equivalent to how many AH, 500 and something AH, yeah. which goes with this system. It's got solar panel, it's got satellite dish, it's got self leveling air suspension, it's got an underslung gas tank that's huge. I can't believe I'll play gas. toilet with a massive tank. I mean, this would be off grid for. Need to ask how big water tank is. But I'll guess it's 300 litres. It's been so well looked after this van. It's, it's a huge van. Which is a worry. But. Yeah. You just stunned, aren't you, Zoe? Yeah. Yeah, it's all over the place at the minute. I just. Uh, for a motor home, it's got absolutely everything you could imagine on it. It's got everything you could imagine. It's got like two leveling systems. You've got air suspension levels, and then it's got hydraulic rams at levels. Um, it's, it's just got everything you can. It's got under seat air conditioning. Yeah, it's. Um, and the guy that said it, it's one owner from New, and he has logged absolutely everything. He's done to that motor, has Yeah. He's 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 been really anal about it all. Every little detail. I mean, it must be the best looked after Concorde there is. Really, isn't it? And it's just like blown us away. Okay. And so we said, well, we've had new tyres fitted on Berta. The guy that's passed it on to the garage has just fitted seven brand new tyres on it, and she showed me Bill. Nearly seventeen hundred pound it's cost him yeah. for tyres. And when we're talking seven, it's got four at the back, it's got two at the front, and the spare. Uh, and, and they knew you were trading it in. Who does that? And they put all brand new tyres on it because they were trading it in. So I think that well, wow. And they're all season tyres as well. They're not cheap tyres oh, no. that he's put on. The batteries, I mean, we just pay for this lithium battery, as you know, if you watch his previous vlogs, and we've said about transferring the lithium battery over, and they've told us, well, we can do that, but they've just bought three brand new gel batteries for it that amount to 560 amp hours, ours is 300, and it's just the fact that they go with the system of the Concorde, they specifically ordered them for that, aren't they? Yeah. So it's got brand new batteries on it, as well as everything else. And it's just like a brand new Concorde, it's just like, yeah, it wants updating a little bit, a little bit yeah. more modernising, but that's just your own personal touch to it, I guess. The, but the size of it, I mean, it's higher than this and it's longer than this. It's got a satellite dish on it, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got a satellite dish that comes up on roof for uh, your, your sat nav. The LPG underslung tank is huge, mm. but not only has it got the LPG <laughs> tank, which is huge, it's also got... <laughs> Two uh, proper gas bottles in the cabinet, mm. cabinet on so outside. You can, use, you can use either. So if you can't get LPG, mm. you can just use your normal uh, bottle gas because it has both. 
the uh, porcelain toilet it has has a is it a ceramic um sealed vacuum sealed waste yeah. tank underneath so there's no more toilet cassettes anymore you just um go on the site and you can just drain the whole lot off down one of their grids i'm just blown away with it 300 liter water tank on it satellite dish obviously and then it's got the um solar panels on it you name it you name it it's got it mm. I can't, can't get my head around it at all. Unbelievable. So we've come away and we've talked about it. And as sister Zoya says, we're in a situation now. They're offering us what we originally paid for Bertie. We've talked about this before, but we don't think Bertie will hack it being full-time in him. The quality isn't quite there to live in it full-time and my concerns on that. Whereas this one, I mean, all the cabinets are solid wood. It's just... So anyway, our sister Zoya says, if we left it two years, Betty's going to suffer a lot more living it full time. We're not going to get obviously what we paid for him in two years time because prices are going to drop, etc, etc. So we're not. And I think the gap will open up between that, what Betty we can get for this and, and what we can get for a, a really good one. Yeah. And now we're kind of in the window of opportunity whereby we can do this and we can pay the extra money because we can afford it at the moment to get the motor home that we're going to be living in. So they're just not comparable really, this motor home and that one, they're just on completely different levels, they aren't are, they? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we're just a bit stunned we all. Yeah, I know. So the decision is do we buy it or not? We're not gonna find another Concord of such it's got, record history that it's, it's got. It's got proper wardrobes, proper big cupboards. Yeah, it's got massive wardrobes, it's a, a story uh, space in it. It's got a microwave, we haven't got... Microwave, microwave oven. It's got an inverter so you can plug anything in, three yeah. pin sockets. Inverter, it's, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, oh God, I'm just like... But it just seems so huge. I can have a coffee machine. <laughs> The kitchen's a lot bigger. Do it's you know, a proper ceramic worktop and sink. We could even have a washer in back. <laughs> you could. <laughs> yeah. You could. Yeah. The garage, as you've seen, is just wow. So yeah, we'd have to spend a little bit of money on it to make it more homely. But then we did that with Berta. You know, we did all the, yeah, the fish netting and stuff. And mm -hmm. we're also very sad because we've loved this motor. Home. We love yeah. it, and it's a beautiful motor home for somebody. But for full time van life, it's just not. It's not, not big enough for us, is it? Not for all our stuff, it, all us clothes it, and everything like that we own. It just could last us indefinitely. It's like buying a house into. You, know. you imagine compacting your everything you've got in your house down to a motor home. Well, that's what we had to do with Bertie, and so obviously we had to chuck a lot of stuff out, and we're we're really on bare minimum clothes, everything really, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, it just it's just a game changer for us because it's our quality of life. It just means we can have more clothes and we don't have to worry about it and, and things like that. Just a little bit more room. Um, we can spend a little bit more time off grid, which we like to do, don't we? So, um, not just for saving money, but we do like to be off grid. It's just the size of it, I'd have to get used to. But I, I think I'd soon, I'd soon get, I'm used to this. And it is bigger and higher. I just bear that in mind, that's all. Yeah, the height will be all right. And the length even. It's just the, I think it's the width. Yeah. If it's any wider, is it the same width as this one? I don't think there's much in it. I think it's maybe slightly. I don't think it's much, Zoe, if I'm honest. This is 2.3, two, 2, I think. Yeah. That might be 2.34. Right. You might be talking 20 millimetre or something. It's not much. You've got to be a certain width anyway for the road. So... No, I don't think the mirrors I would have to get used to. We need to go. Yeah, so lots to think about in the love. Yes. It's a big change for for Zoe. Because it takes you a while, doesn't it, to, to adjust and to, to get it in your head, yeah. doesn't it? And she gets a bit emotional, bless her, because it's a big thing. It and it's a big change for Zoe and Zoe doesn't you, you, it takes you longer, don't it, to try and get get it through. Bless you. Yeah. Done it mm. to work it all out. So mm. you just need a bit of time, don't you? Mm. While you just just think it all through. Yeah. So uh, we'll keep you posted what happens.